Taiwanese NGO worker Li Mingzhe has made his first public statement since being released from a Chinese prison. Li was arrested by Chinese authorities in 2017 and convicted of subversion of state power. At a press conference today, he spoke about his conviction and the forced labor he endured in prison. Taiwanese NGO worker Li Mingzhe was detained in China for more than five years. After returning to Taiwan, he completed a mandatory COVID quarantine before facing the cameras alongside his wife on Tuesday. During his press conference, he complained of the inhumane treatment he received in prison. Every day at around 6 o'clock in the morning, we headed out at 6 o'clock and we worked until 6 o'clock at night or even 7 o'clock. It was a sweatshop of slaves. Attendance records were forged. We, the prisoners, were forced to sign our names. Even in temperatures of minus two, three degrees, they forced us to wash ourselves with cold water. The oil that they used for cooking was so bad, whenever a dish got cold, it would have a rancid taste. Lee said he was deeply grateful to his wife. He also expressed thanks to those in Taiwan and elsewhere who put pressure on Beijing, preventing him from suffering an even worse fate and ensuring his eventual release. One man who helped the most was former DPP chairman Shi Mingde, who suffered political persecution himself during the martial law era. Mr. Shi and his wife they wouldn't allow me to feel alone. There were times when I cried so hard I couldn't speak. They stayed by me. Mr. Shi helped me put together my public statements word by word. I knew that so long as Li Jingyu and Chairman Shi were around, I would not be misunderstood and I would not be abandoned. So I insisted on not confessing to what they wanted me to confess to, the crime of espionage. Instead, I confessed to the ridiculous crime of subverting state power. Because subverting state power is a personal act, whereas the crime of espionage implicates the entire Taiwanese government, I could not betray my country. Li said the Chinese government had pushed to uncover the funding source of his NGO work. He emphasized that his work was supporting China's victims of political persecution in the interest of humanitarian relief. I used my own credit card and my wife's savings. I used it all to buy books for friends in China and to make regular donations to China's political prisoners and their families. It was all done purely out of humanitarian concern. I didn't expect China to interpret my humanitarian actions as subversion of the state. This is what happens in a dictatorship. All the grass and all the trees look like enemies. I was made into a criminal. Li was sentenced to five years in prison for subversion of state power. Now that he's home at last, Li and his wife say all they want is to spend time together to make up for the years stolen by the Chinese government.